So only a few days back, I purchased the MacBook Air M4, and it has made my life more efficient, saved me so much time, and made me way, way more productive. Now this is not my first Apple product. I have an iPhone and an iPad, but this is definitely my first ever Mac. I have been a Windows user my entire life, but after starting our own agency, I thought it was finally yes, time. Sir. But due to the sheer lack of experience with Mac OS, after I got this laptop, I sat down for like 20-30 videos on YouTube that are telling me how to set up my Mac. how to set it up properly how to set it up for productivity speed and after making those tweaks and playing around with the macbook for 2 to 3 weeks now i think i have reached a pretty optimum state where every single second i spend on this laptop is actually productive So setting a little context here I have been creating content for the last 6 years I have been in an IIT then got a software job and I quit that job to start a digital marketing agency with two of my friends and that is why content and productivity are two huge parts of my life and the goal of this machine is very simple it is to reduce wasted time get things done faster so that i have more time to spend with my loved ones or to play games with my boys and in this video i'm going to tell you all about my productivity setup on the macbook The number one rule of any productivity setup is cleanliness. That is why you need to keep your desktop clean. The first thing that I did, I came up over here and went to system settings, went to desktop and dock and uncheck this show item. The second thing that you see is that this dock is always present there. I don't like it. Even on Windows, I used to always hide my taskbar. so that whenever i need it i can get it but it does not take up real estate in my screen i come to the same setting and automatically hide dock and my screen looks so much better even inside the dock i have only kept things that i access very regularly i don't want the dock to be extremely long and with small small icons that is very distracting i want only the useful things visible to me whenever i open my macbook so that is why i have notion notion calendar davinci resolve reminders notes chat gpt and the next thing i feel a lot of people overdo is they put a lot of widgets just to make it look good on their home screen but again you need simplicity you need cleanliness you do not need a lot of widgets you barely use any widget to be honest right everything you need is over on this bar and i just need a calendar I am trying to journal more that is why I have a journal streak wala thing which is going pretty bad and I also have this adco points which is our agency because I take care of operations in this agency I have to keep all the points at the top of my head that needs to be there all the time and the next thing on this list is something about your social media or your youtube addiction I have never really gotten addicted to instagram or twitter but I have definitely gotten addicted to youtube I would be scrolling youtube like this hours on end barely watching any videos but i will just be here so what did i do i found this extension there are multiple other extensions that can do this i personally use unhook your youtube generally looks like this right so what i do is i come over here firstly i want to hide shorts if i want to watch brain rot i'll go to instagram i do not need to watch it on youtube then the next thing i do is also hide the home feed so whenever i open youtube it comes out like this absolutely blank and i am honestly demoralized like what the fuck i'll just close youtube again and get back to work but if i want to look at something suppose the venture is fusion tutorial i can go over here and this is how it's all going right i will minimize the wide iq but there is another problem there are more videos to watch on the sidebar you can come over here to unhook and just get rid of the sidebar now there are no distractions just one video that you're watching that you picked and you're going to watch it for the entirety so because i have the ipad and an iphone and a macbook right now you might be thinking that apple ecosystem is killing it which it is but there is one small problem i also have a gaming pc because i like to play games and you cannot play games on this no matter how powerful this is that is why i have also built myself a gaming pc i guess 2 years back and the problem is that i cannot air drop things between my windows pc and my macbook or my windows pc and my iphone but luckily i found a very nice alternative for transferring footages or any type of files between your macbook and your windows pc it is absolutely not as fast as air drop but it is like 30 40% there which is really great the app is called local send 
I have installed it on my MacBook, on my iPad, on my iPhone and also on my Windows PC so that whenever I am having to send big video files from one device to another, I can just use this even though both of them are not an Apple device. And one of the first things I installed on my MacBook is this the cyber ghost vpn see public networks leave your data exposed whether in a public library or an airport or in a cafe and that is exactly why i use cyber ghost vpn it is trusted by 38 million plus users with a high trust pilot rating it basically encrypts your traffic and sends it through secure servers in 100 plus countries making it so untraceable that even cyber ghost does not know what you're doing it also unlocks 40 plus streaming platforms like Netflix, Prime Video by changing your virtual location. And on top of that, it works on all devices like this, this, that, or even my PC, making it perfect to share with friends and family as it can protect up to seven devices at a time. And right now you can get 84% off, four months free and 45 day money back guarantee. So essentially there is nothing to lose. That's why I recommend all of you to click the first link in the description to try out Cyber Ghost VPN. And the next step that I take is all about notifications. Where is notifications, right? You come to notifications, you turn off each and every notification that you do not care about. You see, majority of the things are turned off here. Find my is important, FaceTime is important, Game Center is, I don't get any notifications there anyway. But anything and everything, even Notion, even music, all of these things have notification turned off. And especially notifications from iPhone has to be turned off. Otherwise, every notification, every text message, every spam that I get on my iPhone is going to end up here and distract myself from working. And in no way I could end a video about productivity MacBook setup without talking about the most productive tool that I have been using for the last five to six years, I guess. And that is my friend notion over here i take care of everything majorly of my agency work and my own content on youtube and instagram that whole thing is taken care of through this and of course of course i have set it up very very properly very very meticulously inside of my macbook it is also logged in here on my iphone on my pc i literally use it all day every day to manage track execute synchronize and also work with teams now other than notion i also use notion calendar as my calendar of choice which is a very sleek looking good looking dark mode calendar and it it is a pretty basic calendar it has all the features a basic calendar app has but it just looks good and it's also from notion i love notion why not and the next thing i set up is the to-do list and this app is called google tasks and the best part about it is that it can run on any platform and synchronize itself. I found this from a Marcus Brownlee podcast, I think, or the studio video, I think, somewhere around that. And uh, it works great. It works on my PC, on my iPhone, everywhere. It's a very simple to-do list app. There is nothing fancy about it. There's just like different domains and you add tasks, you complete them. That's it. That's as simple as that. I do not want to complicate this small, small things that can help me be more productive or be more efficient because that just beats the whole purpose of saving time if it's also more, more complicated. Now, there's one thing I'm not going to talk much about is the focus modes, which I have already set on my iPhone even ever before I got this MacBook. But I have different focus modes over here. There is do not disturb personal. Personal is basically the default focus mode that my iPhone stays on. Then there is the work focus mode. It blocks out all different uh, notifications, any distractions. I just can get calls from my parents and my co-founders. That is it. Then there is the sleep. Whenever I'm going to sleep, I want all my notifications turned off. No messages come in. Only calls can come in. That is it. Now, the next one is an absolute game changer. It is called Raycast. Raycast is basically a replacement for the Spotlight Search. Like if you press Command and Space on your MacBook, it opens up Spotlight Search. But I have rebounded it to Raycast. What Raycast does is that it can do so, so much. I can, of course, open apps. If I want to open the App Store, I can just write it. And this goes to App Store. I can also use it as a calculator, 90 divided by 23, there you go. If I want to convert 11 USD to INR, that I can convert as well. And it is not just that, I have also bound my most used apps to some key binds. Like if I press Control shift n Notion opens, Control shift m Notion Calendar opens, Control shift w will open my WhatsApp, which I will not show. Control shift c opens my Chrome. 
I can also do control shift R to create a new reminder inside of Apple Reminders. But everything is on the tip of my fingertips or tip tip of my hands, I guess. <laughs> and don't forget to click the link in the description to get CyberGhost VPN's exclusive discount at only $2.03 per month. That way you can stay protected online and log any content risk-free.